press. It's McFarlane being forced wide. Defender stands off him, pulls the cross in. 1-0, Steve Imallon, the scorer. But again, here's Tommy Bryce involved, pulls it back to Des McKeown. 1-0, Steve Imallon, the scorer. Vintage Steve Imallon. Bryce turned it back to Des McKeown, lovely floated cross. Mallon placing the header beyond the diving Ferguson. 1-0. With Tommy Bryce, set Steve Mallon on his way. Mallon decided to go it alone, riding the challenge and beating the keeper with a low shot. Livingston seemingly up for the policy of non-intervention. Mallon helps himself to his fifth of the season. Kick from Matheson. Mallon may be first to this. And Mallon gives Queen of the South the early lead. Just six minutes played. The player boss, Raoul Alexander, seemed to enjoy that almost as much as the goal scorer. Pretty basic goal, long kick. Mallon on the end of it, just lifting the shot over Barney Duffy. And that's his 11th goal of the season. Now, Kennedy, Bryce. Tommy Bryce thinking about the shot, slips the pass through to Mallon. There's the equaliser, Steve Imallon scores against his old club. Drove the shots into the bottom corner, beyond Mark McLean. With 58 minutes played, Queen of the South a level two apiece. The slippy surface led to many Stranra mistakes and allowed Queens to play the ball left to the informed Stevie Mallon. His first time touch lobbing the keeper was absolutely delightful, giving the travelling friends from Dumfries something to shout about. There was still everything to play for, but just eight minutes later came the most controversial goal of the day. The pacey Mallon went for the ball with the keeper and the knockdown left him an open goal. The Doonhamers celebrated their fourth of the day, but we'll leave it for you to decide just how the decision was made. Stevie Mallon raised his hands to salute the fans. Half and the Doonhamers really began to find some rhythm and tempo. Warren Hawk squared the ball for Stevie Mallon to blast home. Quality through ball from John Dixon. And then the former Berwick and Carlisle player Warren Hawk holds the ball up well and sends us for Stephen Mallon to hit a left foot shot straight into the back of the net. Releasing Stevie Mallon, who drilled his shot into the top corner, leaving Craig White with no chance. The Queen's hitman showing great composure in difficult conditions before firing home.